Hi there, Chris, Chap in the Cap, Motor Legends, here today to talk to you about a new touring and commuting boot from the German maker Held. It's called the Anoni GTX, GTX standing of course for Gore-Tex. So during the lockdown earlier this year, Graham and I were doing loads of reviews. We were doing at one stage at least one review a day. And as part of that phase, we did a series of reviews of commuting and touring outfits for a certain amount of money. For an unlimited budget, what would you buy? And then for a budget of two and a half and then one and a half and so on. The problem we had with those reviews was that we couldn't find a suitable boot once we had done the Daytonas in the Money No Object suit. So for that suit, we chose a pair of Daytona Roadstars. As you might expect, they make the best boots in the world. But when we wanted a boot a level down and then two levels down, we were really a wee bit stumped. We ended up with a TCX boot that cost 160 pounds. It was a fine boot, it was a, a Gore-Tex boot, but it was nowhere near a Daytona. There was a big gulf between the two. More recently, we've taken on a new boot from TCX. It's called the X54 and it's a all leather boot, a full grain leather. It's a Gore-Tex boot, it's a fine boot, but the truth is it's still a long way short of being a Daytona. But we now think we've found the perfect boot for those who are wanting a Daytona style of boot, in other words, a touring commuting boot, but people who don't, for people who don't wanna pay Daytona money. And this is the boot, it's the Held Anoni GTX. GTX, as I mentioned before, standing for Gore-Tex. Now, to date, we've only done the Held gloves, but we think their gloves are fantastic. This is our very first boot from them. And it's gotta be said that it's pretty much a Daytona copy. There have been Daytona copies before. In fact, going back to TCX, they did a boot called the X-Tour. It looked very much like the Daytona. In the margin, it wasn't as good a boot. This is a much more convincing copy of the Daytona. So let's just go through the details. It's a full grain leather and it's a super soft leather. Whereas the TCX looked like the Daytona boot, the leather was clearly inferior. This leather feels lovely. This is clearly gonna be a very uh, comfortable boot. You've got the same removable boot comfort liner as the Daytona. Comfort liner is a, a Gore-Tex liner, so this is the waterproof element. It sits inside the boot as a separate boot and it's the same in this boot as it is on the Roadstar. But the similarities don't end there. You've got the twin zips. In fact, I've got a, I've got a Daytona here. You've got twin zips up the sides. You don't get the storm flap, but held tell us that they don't think that's necessary. And in fact, the storm flap on one level is a inhibitor in terms of comfort. You've got an almost identical calf adjuster at the back. You've got a, fiber, a fiberglass protector in the shin and in the ankles. You've also got a heel protector. Other similarities, you've got this concertina paneling here. That's for comfort and articulation. The same on the back here. You've got these reflective panels in the heels. You've got a gear change pad as well. You've got a shank in the sole. Now, Helds don't talk about this in the way that Daytona always do. They talk about a galvanized steel shank, but there's clearly something in the held boot because it is every bit as strong as the Daytona. It's going to be an immensely strong boot. If something drove it over that, the boot, I can assure you, is not going to crush. It's got an anti-slip sole and the sole is a Vibram sole. In truth, it's got to be said that this boot is in everything but name, it's a Daytona. But there are some differences. This boot is 260 pounds, whereas the Daytona, the Roadstar, at the time of recording this, this video, is a 410 pound boot. So it's a 40% cheaper boot than the Daytona. That's quite a difference. Now, we often say that one of the reasons you buy a Daytona is for the ongoing repair service. And Held will offer a service whereby they will change the soles, but I do not believe that their ongoing service is quite as menu driven and quite as efficient as Daytona's because we have a menu here for the cost of replacing the toe pad, replacing the zips, replacing the sole, replacing the liner. I don't think it's as um, organized as it were with held as it is with Daytona. So that's one of the reasons that we always tell people it is worth paying the premium for a Daytona boot because in essence, when you buy a Daytona, you kind of buy it for life. As long as you look after it, as long as you keep the leather, fairly soft and supple to stop the leather cracking, then you can have the boot repaired pretty much for life. But 
here's a major difference. A Daytona has a two year warranty. A Held boot, provided you register it with Held, you get a five year warranty. And that's huge. Never come across a boot that has a warranty like that. Now, at times we get a little bit cynical about extended warranties because a warranty really is only for manufacturing fault. So if you've had a held boot for four years, you've done 150,000 miles and the zipper's gone, I think it's very unlikely you're gonna find that that's gonna be replaced under warranty because that's gonna be considered wear and tear. But the area, and it's the key area with a motorcycle boot, the area where I think you can always rely on the warranty is going to be waterproofing. So the issue is that if on a Daytona boot, after three years, if it starts to leak, it's very rare, but if it did, then that wouldn't be a warranty issue. If you've got a leak on the held boot after four years, then my expectation would be that held will sort that boot, they will repair the membrane, they will do whatever they, they need to, but your waterproofing is guaranteed for five years. And I've got to say, that is pretty amazing. So that's when, where we are. They both got great boots. Until now, we don't think there's ever been anything really to touch the Daytona. And even though it was a little bit more expensive, we would always justify that. But this is a boot, 260 versus 410, five-year warranty versus two-year warranty. It's made it a much harder decision. If you'd like to see more motorcycle boots, visit the website motolegends.com. If you'd like to learn more about this particular boot, then if you click on one of the links on the screen, sometimes they're up there, sometimes they're down there, that will take you directly to the relevant page on the website. There you can check out the spec in a little bit more detail. You can check availability. And obviously if you want to buy one of the boots, then you can do that there and then. Now when you buy from us, we try to make the process as simple, straightforward and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on any item of protective where you buy from us. Returns are totally free. And what's more, we give you a full 12 months in which to decide whether you do want to return something. Our price promise is the best in the business. Now John Lewis is rightly famed for its never knowingly undersold promise. We go one le a level better. If you can find anyone selling anything that we sell at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat that competitor's price by a full 10%. If the competitors in the EU are not in the UK, we will match their landed price. Now there are a few terms and conditions, nothing particularly onerous, but if you are going to price beat us, I suggest you visit the website and check out what those terms and conditions are. If in the future you'd like to receive bulletins from us about new products, then if you go to the website, the top of every page, there's a piece of script that says newsletter, sign up, Click on there, within seconds you'll be in business. If, however, you prefer to get your information video graphically, that is to say in this form, we'd be delighted if you wanted to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Now this year, 2020, before the end of the year, we're gonna be giving away a motorbike to one of our YouTube subscribers. We're calling it a Steve McQueen tribute bike. It's based on a Mutz 125cc machine. It's a lovely little cutie. You can read more about it on the front page of our website or on the home page of our YouTube channel. Finally, I'd like to make a play for our little shop here at Guildford. We're based about a mile from the centre of Guildford, a mile from the railway station. The shop itself, it's small, it's got a small footprint, but it's attached to a warehouse where we have more than two million pounds worth of stock arranged over three floors. That technically makes this the second largest motorcycle apparel shop in the UK. But we think that we are far more than just the amount of stock we have here in the building. We're all about service, we're all about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star ranking in the business. We'll serve you only the finest Illy Italian coffee or a proper Yorkshire tea served in a proper teapot. And if you're lucky, you might even get to sample one of Sean's mum's delicious motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.